Now right now I'm in downtown Detroit driving. I don't think we've made a video of this yet. It's a Saturday afternoon on uh, January 7th, I believe. So, in the past 10 years, 10 to 15 years or so, it's really, really developed down here quite a bit. Actually should have turned there. But that was Forest Street. That was the end of Forest Street. And that's right, that goes down river. That goes right by my house, you know, in Ecorse, Lincoln Park. And, you know, well, first it's Southwest Detroit area. And, you know, and then that, that you have the Marathon Station. And then uh, um, that area, I don't know. So then you go into Down River. And, uh, um, and that goes all the way down to the south part of uh, Detroit. So, you know, and it's funny. But now this, uh, I say South Detroit. It's funny because when the the, the Journey song, "Born and Raised in South Detroit," kind of uh, <laughs> kind of relates to to uh, people from South Detroit, which is me, to kind of the uh, south suburb. So, anyways, this is Woodward right here, and this is. I like to say the the center of Detroit because this is a around essentially this is a roundabout with a skating rink, um, yeah, in in the center. And overall, this is called Campus Marshes, and I'll do a couple loops around here just so you uh, know exactly what uh, um, you know what you know what what part of Detroit uh, you know where to go you know from here because uh, oh look this is they have a. This is, uh, let me see what this says. It says the draft is coming to Detroit 2024, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's uh, four, excuse me, 474 days until the draft comes to Detroit in 2024. Well, this is all new right here, and, uh, and this uh, circle uh, kind of connects all the roads together. It's If you look at a map, it's in like a... Um, uh, it, it's a spindle or whatever, however you want to say it, where it kind of goes in a circle and, and all the roads will uh, go out towards uh, into the inner city. So uh, we have Monroe Street, which up here, which goes to Gratiot, and Cadillac, uh, Cadillac does, I don't know where that goes, kind of just a little outside of here, but so you have Monroe Street with Greek Town and um, we'll take right on there some sometime but I just wanted to show you uh, kind of the center of Detroit here um, and much of this is all new this and this uh, continues down to Woodward and that's where all uh, this is north Woodward here so this goes down to like you know the stadiums and uh, Fox Theater and um, where uh, and all the way down to Ferndale and uh, Royal Oak. In fact, there's a, a tram, a little train or bus they built there, a tram that they built called the M1 Rail. They, they changed the name a few times. It might be the Q line for Quicken Loans. Uh, this is Michigan Avenue. That goes all the way down to, I think, Chicago at some point. I think if you follow that all the way down, it goes all the way down to Chicago between it. But it goes to, it goes down, I believe, through Ann Arbor and before that goes down through Dearborn, which is the main hub, but this is, now we're back at Forestry, so we've completed this circle, um, and I will go down, uh, let me make a turn here, um, uh, but anyways, there's, uh, over here, th this is all developed through here, and Dan Gilbert's responsible for much of it, uh, specifically this area, because, uh, the Quicken Loans headquarters is right around here somewhere, uh, a lot of this is new money, all developed, and um, it's nice. It really is. Um, going forward is uh, the river, and you can see a great view of uh, downtown Windsor up here as well, uh, in Canada, uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So, and like any downtown, and there's a lot of one ways and a lot of uh, uh, stuff that will make you go in circles so you gotta you gotta really look at the maps and see what's open and actually and actually drive down here to see what uh to know what you're doing so now this doesn't this doesn't you can't even get to jefferson from here anymore from woodward and that was never the case before because jefferson is right there where uh and that's where oh there's a spirit of detroit right there 
There's also a, a fist of Joe Lewis uh, right on Woodward, right, or right on Jefferson and Woodward right there. And that's Hart Plaza. So, we'll go down there. We'll do a full tour of Detroit, you know, of downtown Detroit a different day. But I just kind of wanted to take you through, like, what I term the center of Detroit. And this is where the Q line runs. I, you know, I think this is, well, it's easier for me to go on here and show you uh, uh, kind of the center of Detroit instead of actually going on the Q and line bus. So, or the rail, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know my computer or my phone's a little blurry, but this is a beautiful shot of Detroit right here. Uh, it's unfortunate. Well, I guess it's not unfortunate. It's never unfortunate when it's warm out in January in, you know, in Michigan. But, you know, if there's snow, I mean, there's a lot of people skating by. That ice, that ice cannot be that good being that it's, you know, it's not even in the 30s right now. Well, it is in the 30s. It's about in the 30s right now, I should say. So... I know, we've passed this a couple times, and, and like I said, this is the center, they have a skating rink, a few Christmas trees, you know, and uh, which is cool. Um, I'm not quite sure if you're allowed to uh, go here. I don't know why they have a red light here if you are allowed to go. I don't know why they have a red light here, period, honestly. But, uh... Okay, it's green now, so, uh, I don't know if there's a sporting event going on tonight, but you have, down this way, boy, it's really lit up, it's really, uh, I can't say they've done a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, renovation, or building and stuff like that, uh, within the past year or so, but definitely a lot more, uh, color down here, a lot more lights, and actually this area, once you pass uh, these stadiums up here, and we'll, we'll, I'll show you that in a second. But this is all new in here, I believe, too, from what I remember. Because I remember in 20, from 2011 to 2015, I went to college uh, down the street up here at Wayne State University. And that's um, down a ways, and that's probably where I'll stop the video, honestly, because it, the, the, the downtown train, the M1 uh, train, the Q train, whatever you want to call it, it ends at right after Wayne State in the new center area, which frankly isn't really developed yet. The train kind of just drops you off up up a new center area, which after that kind of gets, uh, it kind of takes you off into the inner city, which isn't the nicest area, but one thing, and that's one thing you do need to watch, I mean, between Grash at Michigan Avenue uh, what are the other ones around here? I mean, there's a few others. One of the other ones on Campus Marsh is that old beer out. Uh, I'm trying to think. Fort Street even, yeah. Uh, so if you take those streets outside of the, the downtown area, you run into some, to some pretty, uh, you can run into some pretty shady areas, I must say. But, it's probably like that in any city, though. You have your downtown, and then you have your inner city. It's like that no matter what street you go down to. Woodward's probably, honestly, one of the safest, and that's not saying much uh, as you get in out into the inner cities of Detroit. But this is, though, where the Tigers play, the Detroit Tigers, Comerica Park. Cool theme. And right behind there, I don't know if you can see that or not, is Ford Field, where the Detroit Lions play. And Little Caesars headquarters is right there. Fox Theater. It's a lot of action right there. This actually, a former a Red Wing used to. Oh, that's Hockey Town. Uh, so I think uh, there used to be a hockey player, Chris Chelios, and he owned one of those buildings, and uh, had a bar called Chelly's Chili, and um, it was really successful. And it really, I. From what I understand, it really worked out for him, for him you know, so, um, so, that's, you know, that's pretty cool, but, uh, here's Little Caesars Arena, this is where the Detroit Red Wings and the Detroit Pistons play, so, one thing about our sports teams, you know, there are some big Detroit sports fans, uh, Detroit is a very big sports city, 
uh, even when we're losing, <laughs> but we have done our fair share of losing in the past few years. But uh, we have the all four sport. We have all four sports in the downtown area, and they're in the closest proximity out of any city in America. So um, all of our sports teams are, are crammed in, you know, to one little area, which. A lot of you know a lot of fun you know a lot of fun when especially as these teams are starting to get better you know the wings and the lions are doing a lot better but anyways um all this all these little shops and uh all this stuff this is the midtown area you know between after you go past the the hockey arena the hockey and basketball arena up there back there it's midtown now you know as you cross the freeway right there so and when i was going to school five well Seven years, seven years ago is when I graduated from college, but 10 years ago when I first started college, roughly 10 years ago, all this was nothing. This was all abandoned and just just not very developed. And uh, So, as you can see on the side right here, this is uh, more of the, tra the tram, uh, the queue line. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop up here. This is the Wayne State Radio up here, Detroit. I think it's Detroit Public Broadcast. I know they were in this building for the longest time, uh, but I don't know if they are anymore. So if you take Woodward, you'll, you'll go to the um, to the through Highland Park, which is a very rundown city, I must say, but. After that, you go back into Detroit, and then you go into the, the suburbs of um, Oakland County, which is Ferndale, which has a very trendy, um, vib but yeah, vibrant uh, uh, nightlife, a lot of hipster crowd, big hipster crowd, um, and even more, and Royal Oak is probably a bigger version of Ferndale. Uh, and then you get into Birmingham, which is very nice, a very affluent downtown, a very affluent city. Uh, so those are the three hotspots with, uh, they have very, they're pretty vibrant, you know, as far as, uh, you know, nightlife and action. Birmingham, not so much on the nightlife, but still very nice downtown. Um, so it goes, once you get into Oakland County and pass, uh, uh, get uh, outside of the city and into Oakland County, it goes, Ferndale, you know, which is very, which is a little trendy hipster town, and Royal Oak, which is a very nice, big downtown. And then you get into Birmingham, which is a very nice and uh, rich downtown. You know, very affluent, very nice houses and old, a lot of old money there. And so, right now we're in the, we're heading into the new center area, and well, I, actually, I believe it's after we pass this, the the overpass up here. Um, I pass these lights up here. And uh, so it goes, Hart Plaza back there is your down, so here's, here's the Woodward map, I guess you can say. It goes Hart Plaza, which was back there at Jefferson, right on the river, we can go past it, but you'll have, you'll see the GM building, Hart Plaza, and then, um, then you'll uh, go to Campus Marshes, which is the big roundabout, and that's kind of that's why I consider the center of Detroit. And then you'll go into go past the arenas as you go to, you know as you go north on Woodward, you go past the arenas, the the stadiums, the theater, all that stuff. You'll ho you'll go over 75 and see Little Caesars Arena. Then you'll get into Midtown, and that's what we're driving through right now. And then it will go past. Uh, when Wayne State's in that uh, uh, vicinity. So, and that's where we're at the end of right now. We're headed into a uh, new center area right now. And uh, and this is basically uh, the end of the tourist areas of Detroit. Um, 
yeah, this is where the, the queue line ends right here. So it's really building up around here. Uh, so, oh, actually, no, this is not where the queue, the queue line ends. It's, this is all new, the new center area right here, though. It's, uh, and this is actually really developed. Southern Kitchen, let me see. This is actually developed a lot since the last time I was down here, which actually wasn't even that long ago. And it is getting dark outside, so um, I'm gonna get the you know get off here in a little bit because the camera probably won't uh, isn't that great in the dark. But so this is kind of the that's the end of the the tra uh, queue line right there, and this is where the area area starts getting a lot. Uh, it starts dropping off as far as niceness. It kind of you know just you turn it turns into rundown areas which like I said Woodward's not that as bad as some of the other areas of Detroit but still pretty run down and this is where can kind, of, kind of where you do want to turn around if you're walking alone I mean you see the blinking I've always wanted to try this turkey grill by the way too but when you see uh yeah let me see turkey legs I've always wanted to try that place I just never got around to it unfortunately but anyways um when you notice the green lights on the buildings, like I know a lot of them do have the green lights. I don't know if you can see it from the, yeah, the blinking green lights. That means, I mean, that means that they're under surveillance and that it's a bad neighborhood, essentially. It indirectly mean, you know, the green lights indirectly mean that it's a, means that it's a, a bad neighborhood. So I'm gonna go ahead, and not because it's a bad area, but I'm gonna, I'm still gonna go ahead and turn around up here. Um, and just uh, go back downtown because we are out. we are officially I believe officially uh, out of downtown so I'm just gonna go back now but that was that was Woodward Avenue and and like I said I mean maybe someday I'm gonna I'll do a, a full you know 30 40 minute video of, of going all the way down Woodward but uh, that day is not today I just wanted to show you downtown Detroit and uh, and how Woodward's kind of uh, kind of the center of everything in downtown Detroit. So if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. You know, like the video and please subscribe. Um, you know, Detroit's really developing. You know, and it's really going in the right direction. And I'll be between uh, uh, Mike Gillage and Dan Gilbert, and Tom Gorris, and the Fords and. You know all the, the all the big all the big name people in the city, uh, and Mike Gillich, by the way, owns the baseball team and the hockey team in Little Caesar. So, um, yeah. So between all that, I mean, Detroit's really on the comeback, and honestly, it was never down that much, being that you know with all the history and big names and all that fun stuff. So, like I said, if you like this video, subscribe. I'm gonna get off here now, and I'll see you on the next video.